Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. Today we are going to answer this question. When you are working as SSIS developer, why it is important to know C Sharp or Visual Basic language? So very first thing when uh, you are applying for some job and uh, if you take a look in the requirement, they will ask you if you know C Sharp or Visual Basic, especially when you are applying for SSIS uh, developer position. If you are uh, applying for any other ETL tool, they might ask you some other language. Let's say if you are working on um, uh, Pentaho, they will be asking you know, if you know JavaScripting. Uh, if uh, you are working on uh, um, Informatica, they might ask you, okay, you you know Java or not. So what uh, these language has to do with ETL tool? So ETL tool, and in case of SSIS, uh, uh, it provide different tasks, uh, different transformations, uh, and uh, they can perform different uh, uh, requirement for us, or they can do different uh, tasks for us, such as. Uh, Let's go to the SSDT and take a look. We have data flow task that can extract the data and uh, we have different transformations inside the data flow task. We can merge, we can use the row count, we can join union uh, and uh, all different type of transformations are available. We can apply those transformation on the data and finally write the data to the destination. But uh, there are scenarios when uh, these transformations or tasks are not enough they cannot perform those specific requirement so let me tell you this example let's say we have a folder and in that folder we get hundreds of files but at the end of the day we want to load only the latest file so how we would know that which one is the latest file the SSIS does not provide any task that you can take and say okay give me the most recent file uh, where you know that is changed uh, or that that has most uh, recent uh, uh, modified date time to attach to it so you cannot really do that uh, let's say if you, there, is, there is a folder and uh, that has the files and you want to get the oldest file from that uh, folder so how you will get that file name from that folder there is no built-in task for that one so in those cases uh, you have to have a user script task to uh, to find out that thing when you talk about the script task script task is a task where you can write those uh, scripting languages such as c sharp or visual basic and do what you cannot do with the built in tasks uh, let me give you one more example so your company asks you okay you need to create an excel but every time what is going to happen that you are uh, reading the data from one of the view but view definition can change anytime if you will use the data flow task you read the data from the view and then write the data to the destination that's to the excel what's going to happen if next time your view definition change your package will fail because uh, uh, SSIS is uh, not going to update the mapping automatically so in those cases uh, you have to use some scripting uh, and where you can uh, create the file uh, dynamically from the uh, from the source so you have to use a script task uh, to read the data maybe you uh, use the execute sql task uh, and uh, read the data into the object type variable and then uh, pass that object type vari variable to the script task uh, and then uh, you use the adio uh, record set uh, or that that's the object type variable uh, type uh, and uh, write read that data and uh, put the data to the excel destination let's uh, go in the data flow task and data flow task has different type of transformations but one of the scenario what we are we doing we are reading the data from a flat file but before we insert the data into this destination we want to create a sequence number with the, uh, those records so there is no transformation available to us that can create the sequence number for us uh, script component is a transformation that can be used as a source that can be used as a destination and that can be used as a transformation itself and uh, we can write a C sharp or visual basic code in that and get to what is not available or what can we cannot do by using the built-in transformations so for to create a sequence uh, we can use a script uh, component as transformation and create the sequence inside um, the script uh, component transformation now that's why they ask you if you know scripting so anything that cannot be done with the built-in task then uh, we have to have user scripting and use a script task if we are working on the control flow and uh, we have to use a 
the script component if we are in the uh, data flow uh, pans so that's where we can uh, use those uh, different languages uh, and uh, uh, whatever is not possible to do with the these the transformation we can do by the scripting so uh, my advice is at least learn one of the scripting language if you do not know a whole lot about c sharp or visual basic don't worry about that uh, on daily basis when you are going to work on ssis 90 percent or 85 percent of your work is uh, you will be using these built-in transformation there would be 10 to 15 percent chances where you will not be able to do it and uh, if you never have done it uh, i would suggest you go to the sqla.blogspot.com i have tons of examples where I have used script task and script component and you can take a look and learn some scripting from there and uh, you can also join uh, MS, uh, MSDN forums and uh, learn uh, you know from the daily problems the developer put there and people put the solution so you can start learning from there thanks very much for watching this video and I will see you next video